Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Marketing Cuts. Um, today I'm going to speak about um, how to market using video, which isn't that difficult, but there are many myths and uh, scary thoughts when you're thinking of creating videos. First things first, Hong Hei Fa, Hong Hei Fa Choi. Um, as you can see, this is uh, actually a holiday um, we're celebrating in Malaysia and actually most parts of the world where there are Chinese communities. So it's the first day of the Lunar New Year, uh, the first day in the Chinese calendar. And what we usually do, we, I'm saying we because I'm also half Chinese. I don't think you can see um, with the way I look, but yes, I do have Chinese blood. My father is Chinese and so my mom is uh, Malaysia, Malay. And voila, I'm, I'm half Chinese, half Malay. So um, what we usually do on um, Chinese New Year Eve, which was actually last night, would be to have a reunion dinner. But unfortunately, um, due to the lockdowns and uh, the limit of people that we can have to our homes and in restaurants, so uh, we have decided not to not to proceed with a good dinner. But today I'm going to have lunch with my parents, so I'm just going to do a short recording um, to help you with whatever we need to do, um, business runs for the rest of the committee. And um, that's if you can hear that. We have birds coming to the house nowadays because we do feed them. Uh, my mom calls them Adam and Eve. Should be one male, one female. Uh, and they're asking for food, but I'm going to do this while I can because before I go out um, to meet my parents, I'll just do a quick video marketing thingy for you. So why is video marketing so important? Um, well, if you notice uh, the trend, according to Forbes, 90% of consumers uh, say videos actually help them buy uh, help them with the decisions to buy. So 64% say that watching videos make them more likely to purchase and Forbes also reports that businesses that use video in their marketing sees a 441 increase in search traffic compared to those who don't. So what are you waiting for, right? Okay, so some of you might say that uh, it's scary to to, to, to actually create videos and they're it, and it might be expensive to get the tools, um, you don't know how to do the storyboard, um, you're not professional, you don't know how to act in, in, act in front of the camera. And well, when we, Best of Introductions, um, decided to go into video last year, we had all the same qualms, you know, we had the same fears. Uh, we, we, we weren't sure whether we could create content fast enough. We weren't sure whether we would be comfortable in front of the camera. We're usually behind the scenes, which we're, we're very comfortable with. You know, when we're producing events, we're just creating content. But for the people in front, nobody sees us behind. But we had to break all these um, fears because we knew that if we were to be present in the mind of our customers, we needed to create content, interesting content. And hopefully you'll find our content interesting enough to follow us. Um, and so, okay, and so just... some of the, the myths or the fears that we feel uh, when we started out with, with that video making is too time consuming. Um, actually, it it is going to take some time because you don't want to just create videos for the sake of videos with no meat, you know, um, and you have uh, and, and also when you create a video, it's not just about creating the video. It is also about editing it, making sure you cut out the boring bits, you cut out the mistakes that you make when making the video. Um, you try to make things a bit more punchy, fast. Uh, easy to absorb um, and so and, and also a bit of editing for the effects you know like when you see this video which I make every week I usually have like a, an effect where I you know when I change the topic or I change the subject matter the video changes a little bit right um, but if you actually make for me um, for this marketing videos I usually dedicate about half an hour to create the video that means from finding the right things to say or right things to show um, to to um, editing it which comes later um, editing takes about I think about half an hour on a good day when I'm not distracted and then it comes to publishing so um, yes it, it can be time consuming but if you can just allocate maybe even just 15 minutes to record your video uh, and then editing it for another half an hour uh, it should be alright so once a week if you can do something like this it'll be a good start and then uh, it doesn't take a big budget. I'm using my Samsung phone, so it's not even the latest Samsung phone. It's uh, the Samsung Note 5, which is really good in terms of the resolution. Um, yes, I sometimes have issues with audio, so you know your audio needs to be clear and crisp. So what I do is I use a video editor to uh, make it a little bit louder and try to make it clearer if possible. That means I take out the the background noise. 
um, and also the video doesn't have to be expensive you don't have the um, to have the uh, proper video camera when you're starting out you can use your mobile phone like I am um, you don't have to have expensive video editing tools uh, what I usually use would be uh, in video or I also use um, Filmora so it, Filmora looks very complicated when, when you're starting out you can just use the basic tools right so what kind of <laughs> My cat is also making a bit of noise, so I think I'm, I think I'm should be feeding her some 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 sardine. So um okay, so what kind of videos can you do um, that that might be interest of your customers? One thing could be when during festive seasons like this, you could just create a a, a celebratory celebration some a video to celebrate the occasion, right? So wishing your customers a uh, happy Chinese New Year with your team will be a nice personal touch. Um, other things, if you actually have a product to sell, you could have demo videos. So um, they could learn about how to use your products. If you're in um, the fashion retail line, you could actually showcase the new pieces that you have, the detailing. If you're in the electrical shop, you could show them your latest gadgets, how to use it, what are the results of them using it. And then you another another video you could do would be a brand video. So this is the overall picture of your brand. Um, this would be similar to advertising campaigns that you see some some um, some, some brands do. So it's to emphasize how how your brand relates to the customer. For example, Coke. Coke is very straightforward, right? They usually uh, it's just a drink. But when it comes to a celebration like Chinese New Year, they might actually tweak the brand message and create something where they will show. Um, people reuniting over Coke or um, celebrating over Coke, you know, something like that. And then uh, another video you could do would be interviews, which we are planning to do for Anta Solutions, where we interview business owners on how they are actually uh, selling online. So this is something that I would like to take the opportunity to invite you if you're a business owner and you have been selling online and you would like to, a bit of a a little bit of a spotlight um, on our channel please approach approach us and we'll be more happy to interview you it doesn't take long it's usually about 10 minutes just to showcase the meaty bits okay so interviews will work um, and then what other educational how-to videos how to dress at home how to dress for um, um, a simple night out how to do your makeup um, how to fix a broken table if you're in a furniture store or how to make sure that your furniture matches to your home with the theme, color themes, space uh, planning um, and then we also have explanate, exp, sorry, we also have cleaner videos so for example if you're launching a new software how does the customer use your software so you could go from a step to step kind of tutorial video right so this would be um, usually sharing uh, the dashboards um, the front end of the software and how how people see how their customers will see their business using their software or something which is back end which is the dashboard and then you could have um, case studies so case studies or customer testimonials this is great to add trust to your brand so um, maybe if you're in a shop and nowadays you know food traffic is low but you could just have a short phone interview with your customer telling them okay why they like to come to your store uh, even though uh, there's there could be lockdowns what is it that they need the most during these times and why they come to your store it could be about price it could be about convenience it could be about the things that they like about your store could be because it's unique and they cannot find it anywhere else right and then comes live video so um, this is related to e-commerce as well if you're having lower foot traffic to your store how do you make sure that people see what's new in your store besides going to your e-commerce websites which is more passive right e-commerce websites they already kind of know what they want um, they go straight they buy and then they go but you want to cross sell so live videos actually help um, and how do you make this interesting you could you know if you have seen something on TV called um, go go shop which is on Astro what they do is they hired a few products which is on promotional rates or promotional prices and then they talk about the products they answer questions live so this is something that even Untas Solutions is working on so if you're an e-commerce store and you want something more active more entertaining more exciting do talk to us and then there would be a virtual reality video so people like people like in the property line are not many people are coming to your showrooms anymore you want to show them your new homes um, 
360 uh, degree videos are great, virtual reality videos are great so you can walk through the homes and make the audience feel that they are in your showroom and make it exciting again. Don't just talk about your home, talk about how they would feel and how they would benefit from being in the neighborhood, um, what kind of facilities are there, what kind of uh, services they can find in your township, is it new, Is it what kind of neighborhood will they be in. So make it meaty, make it interactive, make it about more about them in experiencing their lives in the new neighborhood. And then augmented videos. Okay, this can be a bit of, of a tricky. Uh, this augmented videos could be a bit more expensive because this would uh, be uh, involving a lot of technology. Um, this is where you have you know things that are not in real life but are actually inputted into the video uh, when people use their own phones and they they um, scan something. Uh, a visual could come in front of the phone. Like there was there was this thing that we I went to last year in Singapore. Uh, it was part of the museum, the Art Science Museum, and they get, they loaned us tabs. So when you use the tab, the tablets, and you walked around their their venue, you could see animals come alive. You could see wild wild animals. You could see trees. You could see lots of interesting things. Yeah. I'm gonna just end this video for the week. Um, you kind of know how important video is for your marketing and what kind of videos you can make. So next week, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about how to make videos. Um, and hopefully you have actually benefited from this week. Again, Gong Hei Pa Choi. May our year be blessed with abundance, with prosperity, with happiness, good health, and um, wealth. So see you next week. Take care.